Hello guys, good day. So this will be our example of adding vectors. So as you can see, one of values we have here, uh, we plot here the, uh, the partition plane or coordinate system where we can see the horizontal, the horizontal axis is X and the vertical axis is Y. So we have here two vectors. We name a uh, variable we use is vector A and vector B. So now let's for, for say, let's say for example we have here theta A as the angle of A and the angle of B is theta B. Let's first write the resultant vector. So we have to find the problem here is we are to find to find the components components of the resultant vector along the x and y axis. So same as the problem. So first we have to write the resultant vector. So I'm your resultant vector, as so you can remember, resultant vector is the, the shortest distance from the starting point to the end point. So let's say on the starting point tone um, at the origin. So we can write and the end point is here, at the head of the vector V. So we can write a straight line from the starting point to V. End point. Then that's our resultant vector. We can write R. So now, as you can see, if we're going to extend this one here, we can form, vector A can form to a right triangle. What makes it a right triangle because of this? Two perpendicular sides. So yeah, we can say now. First, we have to find the components of A and B, so we can find the components of R, the resultant vector. We can say that this is our A sub x, or the component of vector x along the x-axis. How about the vertical? Yeah. Or your component along the y axis. We can say this one is our a sub y. This side is the vertical component of the vector a, and this side is the horizontal component of the vector a. Now, what about b? Kapag ito extended din dito pa downwards, this makes also a right triangle. Where this side is, and here is, yeah, I'm gonna This side, or oh, ito, this is the x. And from here also to here, this is our vertical b1, vertical uh, component of the vector b. Now, as you can see, this is a resultant vector. We can see the big, the bigger triangle, which is also a right triangle. Man. So let's say if you have angle, theta r. Yeah. So now, now for the components, what components ng r? Para tayong So it is now easier because we have the natin components ng vector a and vector b. So, which means this side is the component of resultant R along the x-axis. So, this is Rx, which is very clear. Rx is equal to A sub x plus B sub x. Kita niyan? As you can see, ba? From here up to here. Where this side, hanggang dito, this is AX. Dito naman ang side, which is straight lang yan, BX. So, pag i-add mo yung AX and BX, this is also our RX. 
So now about sa ano, along the y-axis, so the vertical component of our resultant, we can say this is by since ay ito na side, this is also ay. So ry is equal to ay plus by. So later I will give you. I hope you understand this. Um, later, don't worry. I will give you an example like this having values on the vectors or may magnitude na yung vector A and magnitude for vector B also may values na yung angles kung ilan yung angles so that I can give an example and it might be more uh, understandable and easier para sa inyo kasi meron ng problems thank you